rounded baseline complements a horizontal graduation technique utilizing one, two, and three finger step elevation. Internally, a round inversion releases enough weight to allow movement while keeping the perimeter strong. After shampooing and conditioning, the model's hair is prepped with a leave-in conditioner. A profile parting is placed from the front hairline through to the nape. Starting in the back, horizontal partings are taken from the profile out to the middle of each ear. The depth of this section will be determined by the density of the hair. The section is combed to natural fall, elevated to one finger's depth, and point cut parallel to the horizontal partings. The balance is checked before continuing. A second section of horizontal partings are taken to the top of each ear. Once again, the section is combed to natural fall but the elevation increases to two fingers depth. The hair is point cut onto the underneath guideline. Key point, be sure to stand directly in front of each section being cut to avoid over directing the section back. The balance is checked again before continuing. The next section is a curved diagonal back from the front hairline to just above the occipital bone. Starting in the back, natural fall distribution is used once again while the elevation increases to three fingers depth. From the ear forward, the perimeter guide is established utilizing one finger step elevation and the line cut parallel to the parting. The same technique is repeated on the opposite side and the balance checked before continuing. Halo sections are used to continue working up the head shape.
In the back, maintain a natural fall distribution and a three fingers depth elevation. From the ear forward, two fingers depth elevation is used. The same technique is worked on the opposite side. The balance is checked once again. The last remaining section is released. The technique is repeated with three finger depth graduation used throughout until all remaining hair that reaches the guide has been cut. Using a mirror, the balance is checked again to ensure consistency in the line. In preparation of layering, a center profile section is taken, approximately one inch in width. Starting in the back, the section is combed to 90 degrees and point cut round to follow the head shape. The guide to length comes from the three fingers depth elevation. A radial parting is taken from the crown to each ear dividing the front from the back.
Behind the radial, a diagonal back parting is over-directed and point cut to the stationary profile guide. Another diagonal back parting is taken and any remaining hair that will reach is over directed and blended to the guide. In front of the radial, diagonal back partings are taken and the technique repeated. Exactly the same technique is used on the opposite side. The internal balance is checked before continuing. Across the top of the head, just behind the crown, a horizontal section is taken. The hair is combed to 90 degrees and the brick cutting technique is used to remove more weight internally. Horizontal sections are worked across the back of the head and the brick cutting technique is continued. Thank you. 
Horizontal sections are taken across the top of the head and once again brick cut to remove weight. The shape is dried with high heat and low speed to encourage the model's natural texture. Let's recap. Graduation, partings and sections move from horizontal into halo. Distribution is natural fall. Elevation moves from one finger's depth to three fingers depth. And the line being cut is parallel to the partings. Layers, partings and sections move from profile to diagonal back. Distribution is 90 degrees, over directed up, T to the part. Elevation is 90 degrees, over directed up. And the line being cut is point cut round. <laughs>